Can you tell us a bit about what you're presenting uh, this year at Geneva Watch Days? So this year we are presenting a beautiful collection that is a revival. We like revivals, you know. So uh, it's the Kedeberg that everybody knows, the one with whom we uh, got out of the shadow. And uh, we are presenting um, an evolution of the movement that is based on everything we have learned during these six years. So a better escapement than with our friends from Atacalpa, uh, beautiful bridges that are open, uh, and a few more changes. And we are going to do a game actually, so that we are going to see if people can uh, find out the five different changes that we have made in the, in the movement. And then the other side of the watch is also quite amazing. There is a green that is a, a transparent green, something close to the rainforest, but a little bit uh, in between a European forest and, and the rainforest. And a blue, a blue a bit like this one. Let me see. That's, that's a, what is a perfume? Huh? What is TV perfume? <laughs> it's good. And about the, the beautiful dial, actually, can you tell us a bit about the techniques that were used for this yes. one? You know, we like métier d'art, so we started with enamel, then we went to guilloché, then we went to engraving, to micro painting. And here it's uh, the combination of, of two of them, so guilloché, and we use our guilloché ricochet, uh, the idea of the stone skipping in the lake with the lines of the circular guilloché crossing each other. And we do the guilloché on the matrix. And then with a special powder that they use in, in Gravage, a small company belonging to, uh, to uh, Metalem, our partner in the dials, uh, we create a, a stronger matrix that will stamp a plate in silver. Silver is important for the tone of the blue. If you, if you use gold, you will have a certain tone. And if you use silver, you will have another tone. So you have to go into the details, you know, really to get the best of watchmaking. And, uh, and then we have worked with uh, claude Eric Jean from Dans et Cadran to find a, a special tone of blue that was corresponding to, for me, to a modern blue, to a, a popping blue. And it's a, it's a sort of a process. And I, I uh, find the, the, the connection of that process with, uh, in the defile of uh, Spring Summer 2009, Alessandro Sartori for, for Zizenia has a blue jacket that is a shock for everyone. It's like, no, men are supposed to wear a navy blue uh, color, no? No, it comes with an incredible blue, uh, something a bit in that tone lighter, a little lighter because it's spring summer, but very, very strong. And after that, in the year 2010 to 20, a lot of brands have been following the idea of playing with different blues. And it's the same process, which is to wake up uh, the blue tones inside the watchmaking and autorologerie is the perfect place to play with colors because it's a highly creative place. It's an open place. So playing with the color to come with something quite unique. And that we have uh, uh, for us. So claude Eric developed the color only for us. It's ours and it's going to become the, the Chapek Blue. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much and nice to see you. Thank you, Watchers TV. Thank you for supporting all the small independent watchmakers that, thanks to you, become sometimes a little bit bigger and uh, certainly more sure of their future. Thank you so much.